Hi, welcome to Chair Chats, the lifestyle show with a disability twist. I'm your host, Pauline Victoria. I love a good story that inspires me to be greater. And today's story is all about inspiration, whether you have a disability or not, because our guest exemplifies what's possible when you have a vision. At eight years old, Lex Gillette lost his sight completely due to retina attachments in both eyes. Yet that did not stop this Paralympic track and field athlete, singer songwriter and motivational speaker. As a two time silver medalist from the 2004 and 2008 Paralympics and currently the, to the fastest totally blind American athlete over 100 meters. We are privileged to have Lex Gillette with us today as he is in the UK right now preparing for the 2012 Paralympics. So please open your minds and your hearts to Lex Gillette. Thank you, Lex, for being here. Thank you. I appreciate it, Polly. Um, I, you know, I know it's probably really busy over there, but um, I, I know that this was like one of the first years the Paralympics has been sold out. What is it like being there right now? What's the feeling? Well, we had opening ceremonies on Wednesday and the atmosphere was so electrifying. There was so many people inside and it was really loud. Very great uh, opening ceremonies. And um, yeah, you know, it sold out. So I think that's really good, really good for the Paralympic movement and really good for all of the athletes competing this week. Yeah, I know on your, your website at like LexGillette.com, your tagline is, who needs sight when you have vision? How would you differentiate sight and vision? Well, physical sight is, you know, that's what you focus on right now. That's what you see right now. So, you know, you have the computer or the desk that my computer is sitting on, and you can see these things. You know, they're, they're right here in front of you. But when you have a vision, sorry, when you have a vision, you have the ability to see something before it's, before it's in existence. I, you know, there might be someone watching this right now, and they have a vision. You know, I had a vision for this web TV show. Okay, I, I know this is what I want, I'm supposed to do. But a lot of people don't fulfill on that vision. They, can, they shrink back. They, are get, they get scared. They feel like they don't have the skills or the knowledge to fulfill that vision. What three things would you say to someone to encourage them that they could fulfill that vision? Or what three values are important to fulfill a vision? Well, I would say that, you know, from my experience, I would I would first say that you definitely have to believe in yourself because as much as you may have someone who, you know, thinks highly of you or thinks that you can do this or do that, there's no way that you can accomplish it unless you, in your heart and mind, believe that you can do it yourself. And that's kind of like the, in my situation, that's what pretty much just got the ball rolling. And... I would say that another thing that has helped me out is just trusting. And again, not only you know trusting yourself, but trusting people around you, especially in my situation, since I can't see, I do have people who help me out on a daily basis, especially in track and field. And I can remember initially, before I had that trust, you know, it, it just wasn't working. There was a lot of friction between me and my uh, guy runner or, or long jump caller. And um, I don't know if you've seen any of the videos, but uh, on YouTube, I am running at somebody who's, who's clapping for me. So, you know, to have, to put that trust in someone's hand, to run 100% full speed at this person while they're just, you know, clapping and you're depending on them to make sure that you don't get hurt. Yeah, that's pretty, it's mind boggling sometimes. And that's how I thought of it at first. But as I grew into the sport, you know, you just figured out that, all right, if I do my job and I allow, it, and I allow this person to do their job, then it just makes everything so much easier and so much smoother. And the productivity, it, it, it skyrockets. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would say the third thing I would say is probably just hard work and determination. I mean, nothing that 
is extremely worthwhile in life is it, going to be given to you. You have to go out there and you have to put in the work to get it accomplished. Um, and that's one thing that, you know, my mom has taught me that, you know, you're just as good as anybody else in society. You have so much to offer to this world. So, you know, get out there. Nobody's going to have pity for you. Go out there, make it happen, put in the work and get it done. Mm, I am completely honored to have you on the show. So thank you so much, Lex, for um, showing up in, in as the best possible Lex Gillette in this world and showing us what's all, what's possible. So um, I think we'll close here. Do you have any final parting words? Um, yeah, you know, I just appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for asking me to be a part of the show. And, uh, you know, I start competing in the 2012 London Paralympics on Monday. So, you know, things are going to be busy. I have five events. Um, like I said, I start on Monday and I end on Saturday. So hopefully I'll be able to bring back a gold medal for the United States of America and thank everyone back at home for all of the support. And I love you, mom. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Oh, good. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that today's show has inspired you to catch a vision, um, believe in yourself, trust others, and put the hard work and determination it takes to fulfill that vision because that vision is probably bigger than you, bigger than me. It's, it's probably granted to you and comes through you for a, a much bigger purpose and the rewards are priceless. So thank you for tuning in. And until we meet again, be blessed.